So, uh, um, I would like to start with a question, uh, which is this one. What, tell me something about the challenges of uh, going from uh, a little indie coming of age uh, movie like uh, The Kings of Summer to a uh, huge blockbuster like this one. You know, <coughs> filmmaking is filmmaking to some degree, so <coughs> I still have to tell a story. I still have to set up my shots. <coughs> I still have to uh, figure out how to move the camera in a meaningful way. And you get a license to drive a car, so you can drive your, your like, beat-up car, or you can drive a race car. It doesn't mean you're not going to crash the race car into a wall, right? But the fundamentals of how you drive them are the same. Um, but the fundamentals of movies are also always the same, where it's like you never have enough light, you never have enough money, you never have enough time. And so there are things that I would universally look at and be like, guys, we could, we could do this like this when, you're, when you have no money. Yeah, somehow it's super difficult right now. And then there are times that you're flying helicopters through canyons in Vietnam <coughs> and setting off massive explosions, and you're like, I get, to, I get to do this right now? And that, you know, it's, so it's, it's, a, it's a give and a take, and it, it, you know, they're just, they're different types of filmmaking, but they're essentially telling a story that invests you. And what about the, 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 the color scheme of the movie? Because uh, in, my, in my opinion, uh, many blockbusters have uh, always the, the, the same look, uh, you know, uh, blue at uh, colors and so on. Why Kong is very, very bright, uh, and visu visually distinctive, like mm, Mad Max Fury Road. Um, a, uh, thank you. <laughs> B, You're welcome. Uh, I agree with you. I think most blockbusters look the same, and I think that they are generally boring. If you watch my last movie, Kings of Summer, you'll actually see that I was doing very similar things with color. <coughs> and I'm just very hands-on in that stuff. And so we had an amazing colorist, <coughs> but like we, we pushed it really hard to pump in colors and to have it feel like a weird, surreal kind of acid trip <coughs> and vibrant where it's like, it's heightened and surreal, but then still real. And I just, I, I am like you where I reject the fact that all of these movies look the same or have to look the same. And I'm really proud of the color <coughs> and the way that it looks. And about the, the, the various source of inspiration for the movie, I've read that uh, uh, you based uh, some things on Pokemon and uh, Evangelion and war movies of the 70s and so on. But did you also draw inspiration from the, the tokusatsu Japanese movies uh, uh, and, and, and maybe video games like King of Monsters? I don't know if you remember the old remember. SNK. <laughs> um, look, video games and anime fundamentally rewired my brain at a very young age. Like, I'm a dork who spent most of his time in a basement playing, <laughs> you know, uh, Nintendo and Atari. And so uh, the language and the style and the, the, like, kinetics of anime and manga and video games and Japanese movies, like, are just seared in my brain. <laughs> and so those influencers are, like, very, very present in the film and, and very present in some of the tone of the film, too. <laughs> You know, like, I, I love South Korean cinema right now. Like, I, yeah. I love, I love the, it's just, it's all over the place. And so, you, you know, I think for me, like, in a lot of ways, this movie is sort of like me wearing my influences on, on its sleeve. You know, there's everything from references from, t from Taxi Driver to Old Boy in this movie.